Hi everyone, I'm Anna. In this episode I'm gonna woodburn some creepy crawlies on tiny slices of wood. Although I hope most insects stay far away from me in real life, I think they look very interesting and the world cannot survive without those critters. I had some small slices of wood lying around and I wanted to use them for some bugs. I started with the outline of the first one with a micro writer pen point. I also used that pen point to color in some very small details in the legs of the centipede. After that I switched over to my small round shader to color it in. It has a bit of a reflected surface and each section has a lighter rim on the bottom edge. I create that lighter edge simply by keeping that section unburned for now. Right in the center of the slice I noticed there's a soft spot in the wood that burns a bit darker than the rest. I left it in there for now and only darkened the wood around it with some additional layers. I also darkened the edges of each section and leave a small highlight down the middle to convey the idea that the body has a bit of a rounded shape. Here I touch up the darker spot in the center with a lower heat setting and a faster hand movement. You can still see it a little, but it's less noticeable now. And for the finishing touches, I darken the highlights a bit where it's necessary, and then the first one is complete. For the next one, I'm burning an end. This process is basically the same, small details first with a micro writer and then with a small round shader the rest. This wooden slice is the smallest of them all. It was a bit difficult to hold it in place while I was working on it, but I got it done. You can easily make fridge magnets out of these, or you can drill a hole in the wood and hang them on a string to make gift tags or decorational ornaments. They're just very fun to look at. I burn the edges a bit darker with a gradient towards the highlights in the middle of each body part. With the beetle I also started the same, fine details with the micro writer and some blocking in with the small round shader later on. The shell of the beetle is quite reflective, even these legs are quite reflective. A reflective surface has almost no gradient between a highlight and a shadow, so you have quite contrasting values next to each other.
In some areas, the beetle has a different texture. Here, near the head, it's quite bumpy, like an orange peel. I move my hands in a more circular motion and tap lightly with a small round shader to create the texture. I show it here in real time. But all times I keep an eye on the reference to see where the dark and light values are. In such a small area that's a bit more difficult than on the bigger scale. Sometimes you have to simplify the details to fit them all in, but you don't look at it with a magnifying glass. So I try to look at my work often at the distance you would view it normally. For the abdomen of the beetle, I switched over to my medium round shader, because that area is a bit bigger and the larger pen tip produces a smoother result. I slowly build up the values and leave one side a bit lighter because of the reflection. When I'm basically done, I touch up some areas with my engraving pen to bring back some highlights in the bumpy areas. The result is subtle, but it's there. This fly turns out as one of my favorites on this mini-series. I don't know why, but I think it's because of the stripes and the transparency of the wings. It has a lot of contrast. Everywhere there's something different to see. But I also love the simplicity of the small end. If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate that. Let's play a game and comment the word bugs down below, or an insect emote. That way I know you are still watching and we can tease other people because they might not know what's going on. When I burnt in the dark stripes on the thorax of the fly, I tried to make it shine by adding a gradient to the lighter parts. That also gave the fly its rounded shape. The wings were a bit tricky at first, because I wanted to give it the illusion of transparency. But of course wood isn't transparent, so instead of telling myself I need to burn something transparent, I tried to reset my mind and just imitate the abstract shapes of light and dark that I saw in the reference photo. I left the wings quite light and made it slightly darker where the abdomen and the legs of the fly would be underneath. It's not perfect, but if you don't view the artwork next to the reference, you immediately see it's a fly. If a fly loses its wings, is it called a walk instead of a fly?
And at last I made a wood louse. Actually I made a moth, but it was the only piece where I added white accents with colored pencil. So I did it fit in properly with the rest. That's why I swapped it for this wood louse. Unfortunately, this is my least favorite piece of this series. The wood slides burn different than the rest of the set and it has a soft spot in the center that burned darker than the surrounding area and I couldn't fix it properly this time. It just feels a bit out of place and it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. But I left this one in. It's supposed to be fun and I didn't want to go through the hassle of preparing and burning another insect. Also because this is only a 5cm long thingy, about 2 inches. It's just fine, nobody create masterpieces every single time. The lower part below the soft spot looks ok though. Anyway, I used more or less the same process for this wood louse as for the other bugs. And that was it. Which one is your favorite? What would you do with these slices? Let me know. Have a nice day. Until next time.